morning, everybody. How's everybody feeling today? Okay. Any special requests? Abs? Sure. So just make your way down onto your back to start. Bring your feet as wide as your mat is. Relax those feet, let them fall out to the sides. Turn the palms up to face the ceiling, tuck the shoulder blades underneath you. Just start to settle in, start to relax. Release and let go. Just let gravity pull you down towards the ground. And allow your breath to deepen and lengthen. Trying to breathe only through your nose. Noticing the rise and fall of the belly as you breathe in and out. The expansion and contraction through the rib cage. And the gentle lift and lower right up at the collarbones. Just coming into that three-part breath that you're so familiar with. And as you constrict the glottis, narrowing the airway just slightly, see if you can start to hear the sound of your breath. And then trying to maintain this breath, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, circling your wrists and your ankles, turning your head side to side. Good, and as you slide your legs together and point your toes, reach the arms all the way back behind you, take a deep breath in, stretch the body long, and then relax the arms down to your sides. Draw your knees into your chest, hug them in, and just rock from side to side. Rolling from hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder, ear to ear, across the back. Rolling all the way over to your right side, pressing into your left hand, coming up to a seated position. Sit comfortably cross-legged. Give a little squeeze between those shoulder blades as you lift through the crown of your head. Take another full breath in, and as you exhale, just let your right ear melt toward your right shoulder. Feeling that gentle stretch at the left side of the neck. Heart lifting up away from navel, navel away from pubic bone. Inhale, let the head float up, and as you exhale, left ear toward left shoulder. Breathing into the right side of the neck.
On the inhale, lift the head up. As you exhale, just turn your head to the right now, as far as it'll go. Imagine you could look all the way back behind you. Inhale, let the head come forward, and then turn your head all the way to the left. Looking into the far corners of the eyes. Inhale through center. And then inhale, begin to lift the chin. Slowly exposing the throat. At some point, you may find that the lips need to separate to maintain a relaxed jaw. Make sure you're still breathing through the nose. Shoulders are still relaxed and down away from the ears. On the next inhale, let the head come up, lengthen through the crown, and as you exhale, begin to melt your chin down toward your chest. Just letting that head gently fall forward. If you'd like to deepen the stretch, you can clasp the hands and rest them on the back of the head, adding a bit of weight without pulling. Good. As you inhale, let your head come up. As you exhale, take your hands, rest them onto your shoulders. Bless you. Try to let the fingers come around the fronts of the shoulders, thumbs around the back. Bring your elbows right up to shoulder height. And now inhale, turn to the right. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale. And exhale. And start to make the breath a little bit quicker. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Going as quickly as you can now. <laughs> Inhale right, exhale left. Shoulders relaxed and down, elbows at the height of the shoulders. <laughs> Try to keep your nose in line with the center of your chest. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, slow it down, inhale. Exhale, slow it down, inhale. Exhale, good, to center. Shoulders relax, let's inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Going a little faster now. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, come to center, relax the arms. Roll the shoulders forward as you inhale, up to the ears, exhale, roll them back and down, inhaling forward and up. Exhale, back and down. One more time. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, roll them back and down. And inhale, draw them back and up to the ears. Exhale, let them come forward and down. Two more in this direction. Last one. 
Exhaling forward and down. And now inhale, draw the shoulders straight up to the ears. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Drop them as you exhale. Inhale, lift. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Release. One more time. Let's inhale, lift those shoulders up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Drop them down as you exhale. Good. Open the eyes. Make your way to table pose. So we come to stand on those hands and knees, really gripping your mat with those fingers, pushing the floor away, lifting through the low belly. Heavily pressing down through the tops of those feet. Let's inhale, lift the chin and the tail. Exhale, tuck the tail and the chin. Inhale. Exhale. Starting to go a little faster. Inhale. Exhale. Now keeping the head stationary as you look forward slightly, continue to move. So don't fling the head around, just move the spine. Going a little bit faster. Exhale, tuck the chin and round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze it in. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Big toes together. Sit back to those heels. Relax the torso, the head, and the arms. Hands can be supporting the head. Head can rest on the ground, arms beside you. Relax. Breathe. Pay very close attention to the breath moving in and out through your nose. Still working with that three-part breath to the best of your ability. Reach the arms forward. Pull yourself up to your hands and your knees. <coughs> Curl your toes under, lifting through the low belly. Shoulders coming forward over the first set of knuckles. Let's inhale those knees one inch off the ground. Try not to collapse between your shoulder blades here. So keep the upper back strong. Press the floor away. Long, slow, deep breaths here. Pull the low belly gently in. Take one more inhale, and as you exhale, lower your knees and untuck your toes. Inhale, lift the chin and the tailbone up. Exhale, tuck the chin. Tuck the tail round the back, inhaling back to neutral. Exhale, grip with the hands. Inhale, lift the tailbone a little bit as you look slightly forward, and then look over your right shoulder. And try to squeeze your right hip and right shoulder closer together without swinging anything out to the side. So make a little half smile with the right side of the body. Good, inhale through center, and then look over the left shoulder and squeeze the left hip and the left shoulder a little closer together. Don't swing your hips out to the right though. It's a very subtle movement here. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the right. Compressing the right side, expanding the left side. Let's inhale, come through center one more time. Look over that left shoulder, press the left hip towards the left shoulder, press the left shoulder towards the left hip. Inhale, come to center, tuck your toes, slide the hands forward an inch or two. Take it up and back, 
to downward dog, lift those hips up, push the chest back, press those heels down and start to sway those hips from side to side. And then let your hips sway back to center, walk the heels up and down a few times. Try to let your head just hang heavy. Press both heels down now at the same time as you push the chest gently back. On an inhale, come forward to the top of a push-up. And if you need a modification, you would simply set the knees down. Pull the low belly gently up and in. Press the space between the shoulder blades towards the ceiling. Crown of the head is extending forward, lengthening your spine here. As you inhale, look slightly forward and lower, slowly, elbows hugging. Curl into your cobra, bhujangasana. Kneecaps are lifted. Fingers are gripping as you pull that chest through those hands. Inhale, come up a little higher. Exhale, forehead down, tuck the toes. Inhale to plank. Exhale, press back to your downward dog. Hips high, chest back, press those heels down. And breathe. Try to keep those wrist creases parallel with the top edge of your mat. Bring more of the weight to your thumb and pointer finger. Big toes are slightly turned in. Breathe deeply and slowly. Good, let's inhale up onto the toes, soften the knees as you look forward and let your feet come forward to your hands. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, full chest to thighs. Inhale again, look forward, squeeze between the shoulder blades, hinge from the hips and fold back down. Inhale again. Move the heart forward away from the navel. Take a grip on the back of the legs. Now pull yourself down. Let those elbows flare out to the sides. Pull the shoulders back away from the ears. Try to let your toes take just as much weight as your heels here. And as you release the grip, bend the knees a bit and just let yourself hang in a rag doll. Forward bend, shaking the head no. And nodding the head yes. And just let it hang. Good, looking down, bring your fingerprints to the ground, walk your feet together, walk your hands forward away from the feet about the length of your torso, shoulders over wrists, hips over ankles. Lifting your chest up and away from the floor, look down just ahead of the hands, push into your right foot and inhale, lift your left leg up behind you. Keep drawing the shoulders gently back and down, away from those ears as you flex your left foot and spread your toes. Try to keep those toes in that left kneecap pointing straight down to the ground below you. And take one more inhale, lift the left leg higher. Exhale, lower the foot down. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Push out through that right heel, extend forward through the crown of your head. Keep drawing that low belly up and in.
Take another inhale, lift the right leg higher. Exhale, lower the right foot down, big toes together. Walk the hands back, start to bend the knees, sit down into your imaginary chair. And as you sit down into this chair, squeeze those thighs together, pull the low belly in, turn your palms to face one another. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and up, lifting the chest without unbending those legs. Point the tailbone slightly down. Look at the space between the hands if you can. Keep squeezing those thighs together. Good, as you inhale, straighten the legs, reach up and back, exhale, fold all the way down. Look forward as you inhale. Plant your palms, take it back to plank pose as you exhale. Remembering you can modify. Listen to your body today. Tailbone is tucked, low belly is lifted. The breath is smooth, controlled. So we constantly listen in to the sound of our breath, listening for its guidance. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, lower. Curl to cobra. Hold as you exhale. Inhale a little higher. Exhale, forehead down. Tuck the toes, inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Feeling the body slowly opening up. Muscles stretching out. Inhale, lift your right leg slowly up. Flex your foot, spread your toes. See if you can inhale that right leg a little higher and then lower your right foot down beside your left. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Push out through the heel, spread your toes. Inhale the left leg a little higher. Exhale, lower the left foot down. Good, let's inhale onto the toes, soft knees. Look forward and bring your feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale, fold over those legs. Big toes together, bend your knees. Sit those hips down, squeeze those thighs together. Inhale, Utkatasana. Tuck the tailbone. Try to keep those knees bent as deeply as they were. Good, let's inhale, straighten the legs, look forward, hold the left wrist and lean to your right side. Start to push that left hip out to the left if you can. Chest is forward. Shoulders are relaxed and down away from the ears. Good, inhale, come up. Release the wrist, holding the right with the left hand, lean to your left. Push that right hip out to the right. Shoulders relaxed and down. Inhale to center. Exhale, hands to the low back. Hug the elbows in, crack open that chest. Inhale, lift the chin. Lean back, relax the head if you can, pushing the hips forward in the back bend. Push into those hands, inhale, come up. Fingers around to the front of the hip, separate your feet to hip distance as you lift through the crown. So fingers are in front, thumbs are in back. Inhale, lift through the crown of the head, soft knees, fold all the way down. 
Reach down for your big toes. Take a grip on them. Look forward as you inhale. Pull yourself down into an active forward bend as you exhale. Let those elbows bend, shoulders pull back away from the ears. Fingers pulling up, toes pushing down, equally strong. Try to lift the hips now up and away from the heels. Tuck your chin, neck is long. Inhale to a flat back. Release your big toes. Walk your hands away from your feet as you walk your feet together again. So looking down, just ahead of the hands, push into your right foot. Inhale, lift your left leg up behind you. Push out through the heel. Spread your toes. Can you inhale, lift your left hip up, turning your toes to the left. As you exhale, point the toes down to the ground, square the hips. Inhale, stack. Exhale, square it off. Inhale, stack. Try not to swing the leg out. Exhale, square off the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Now inhale, lift the left hip up, hold it there. Take a little peek back at your left leg. Make sure your ankle's in line with your hips still. And then look down to the floor, just between the hands. Maybe you have the ability for your left hand to leave the floor, left hand to left hip. Maybe you're keeping the hand on the ground to help you balance. Maybe you can lift those left fingers straight up to the ceiling in Ardha Chandrasana, our half moon. Finding your edge in this balance pose, where is that today? If the left arm is up, bring the hand to the hip. Slowly lower your fingers to the floor. Square your hips to the floor. Press out through that left heel. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower the left foot down. Let's walk the hands back and fold over those legs. And breathe here. Good, as you inhale, gently lift through the back of the head as you walk the hands forward away from the feet. Extending forward through the crown. Pressing into that left foot now, we inhale, lift the right leg up. Hips are level to start. Looking down just ahead of your fingers, try to lift your torso away from the ground. Inhale, lift that right hip, stack it on the left. Exhale, square the hips to the ground. Inhale to lift the hip. Exhale to lower it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, square it off. Inhale, lift. Exhale, point the toes down. Now inhale, lift that right hip up and hold it up. Look back at your right leg, making sure your ankle's still in line with the hip. Toes pointing out to the right as best you can. Now look down to the floor between your two hands. Find your drishti. Can your right fingers get a little bit light? Can the right hand come to the right hip? If that's too much, keep the hand on the ground. If the hand is on the hip, you can go further. The right arm can float up. Otherwise, your fingers can stay on the floor and just get lighter and lighter. Work to your edge. Steram sukham asanam, that place of comfortable discomfort. Take another deep breath in. If the right hand is up, bring the hand to the hip. Slowly release your fingerprints to the ground. Square your hips to the ground. Set your right foot down next to your left. Walk the hands back. Fold over those legs.
Good, as you inhale, look forward, lengthening your spine. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back to the top of a push-up. Plank from the toes or from the knees. Listen to the body today. Listen to the breath. Try to keep every inhale as slow and as deep as it can be. Maintaining the exhale to the same length. Breathing only through your nose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, lower with control. Curling into cobra. Take your arms back like jet airplane wings, hands off the ground. Give a little squeeze between the shoulder blades. Lift both your legs. Stretch those toes back. Reach those fingers back. Take another inhale, come up a little higher, and then lower your forehead, hands beside the chest. Press slowly up to your knees. Bring your big toes together, sit back onto the heels, take your knees to the edges of your yoga mat, and relax to your forearms. As you relax to your forearms, let your head hang, look back, make sure your big toes are still touching, and then see if you can take those knees a little wider. Let your head just hang, let your eyes close. Keep pushing your hips back towards your heels. So you're up on your forearms. It's not like child's pose. We're not trying to get our chest on the ground or our head on the ground. We're trying to get our knees as wide as they'll go. So can you take those knees a little wider? Can you push those hips back a little more? Breathing through this frog pose. Breathing through any tension or tightness in the hips, knees, inner thighs, low back, wherever that tension might be. Send the breath there. Now as you inhale, just lift the chin and start to crawl yourself forward until your hips come forward in line with your knees and pause there. Relax your head down. Let your inner thighs melt towards the ground. Try to keep that tailbone just slightly tucked, low belly lifted. Good, as you inhale, lift the chin, come up to your palms. Slowly bring those knees back in, sit back into Vajrasana. Take a few deep breaths here. If you can't sit in Vajrasana, just take a comfortable cross-legged seat. Lengthening up through the crown of the head, shoulders are relaxed and down, away from the ears. Let yourself roll over to one hip, but try to roll to the hip you wouldn't normally come to, and then take your legs forward in front of you and extend them out. Pull all 10 toes back towards you. Press out through the heels. Trying to make a 90 degree angle, hands beside you. Hands are directly underneath the shoulders, right next to those hips. Give a little squeeze between those shoulder blades. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, pull your chin toward your chest, but gently lift up through the back of the neck. Keep pulling the toes back, keep pressing the heels away. Good, as you inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, move your heart towards your toes. Reach across the room, inhale, come back up. Reach for the ceiling, draw the belly in, lean forward. Inhale, back up, reach up, 
Exhale, lean the heart forward, let the arms relax down, come to either side of the legs, turn your palms up. So rest the backs of the hands on the ground to start. Pulling that low belly in, drag the heart through those upper arms, a little bit closer to the toes. We haven't let the head drop yet. So take your hands now, turn them to face one another. Maybe you can crawl them a little further down the legs without straightening the arms out completely. Keep pulling the belly in, keep dragging that heart closer to the toes, and now let your head just hang. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply in through the nose and out through the nose. Keep pulling all 10 toes back towards you. Keep pressing those heels away. Good, as you inhale, lift the chin. As you exhale, extend and reach the arms. Inhale, come all the way up, reach for the ceiling above you, keep the arms up, draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Take another deep breath in, as you exhale, bring your palms together, bring your hands to your heart. Keep pressing out through the heels. Interlacing your fingers now. Take the palms, press them forward as you straighten the arms. Again, give a little squeeze between those shoulder blades. Slowly float the arms up. Don't let the shoulders lift though. Pausing before that happens. So you don't wanna bring the arms straight up if the shoulders have lifted up. So keep those shoulders depressed. Keep the neck long. Take another inhale, really press up through those palms as you exhale, let the arms come forward and down, relax the arms to either side of you. Good, bring your heels to the top of your yoga mat. Take the arms across the chest, keep flexing the feet, start to slowly release the body down. Nice and slow, keep breathing. When your shoulders eventually touch and the head comes down, reach the arms over your head. Take another inhale, make the body as long as it can be. Exhale, arms come down, knees come into the chest. Hug the man and just rock from side to side. And as you roll to center and you squeeze those thighs and ankles together, inhale, lift the head. Extend your arms straight out in front of you. Turn your palms to face each other, lifting your arms just parallel to the ground now. The legs can stay bent or the legs can straighten. Pull the low belly in towards the spine. Find your edge. Keep reaching those fingers as far forward as they can go, lifting your upper body away from the floor as much as possible. Control the breath. Take one more inhale as you exhale, lower your back, bend your knees, reach for the knees with the hands, rock side to side, head is heavy on the ground.
Good, rolling back to center. Squeeze those legs together. Bring the arms down beside you, palms pressing down. Send the soles of both your feet up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, bend your knees, plant your heels right in front of your buttocks at a hip distance stance. Tuck the tailbone and inhale, lift your hips up into bridge. Try not to splay your knees here. So keep pressing into your big toes, your inner heels. Your feet shouldn't be at the outer edges of the mat. Try to keep those feet in line with those hips, about two fists distance between the heels. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. See if you can lift the chest a little higher. Arms are still parallel to each other, palms pressing flat, inhale onto the toes, exhale lower your upper back, and then your mid back, and then your low back, let your heels come down, draw your knees to your chest, reach for them with your hands, and just rock a couple times from side to side. Good, as you come back to center, Take your legs up and wide, flexing your feet. So widen your legs. Reach your arms back over your head. Take a deep breath in, press the palms together. As you exhale, lift the body up and reach the arms through the legs. Stretching those fingers forward, pull that belly in towards the spine. Shoulders relaxed and down, away from the ears. Press out through the heels. Slow, deep breath. Reach a little further forward if you can. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lower your back, lower your head, bend your knees, draw them into the chest, reach for the knees with the hands, squeeze them in. Rock side to side. Good, as you roll back to center, take your arms either to cactus if you're on a sidewall or straight out at shoulder height. Squeeze your legs together, keep them hugging into the chest. Press down through the arms and take a deep breath in. As you exhale, let your legs come over to the right, but don't lift your left shoulder, look down that left arm. Try not to separate your knees at all and don't let your feet touch the ground. Squeeze your knees together. Good, as you inhale, head and knees come up. Exhale, switch. Bring your legs to the left, squeeze your knees together, flex your feet. Don't let the knees separate, don't let the right shoulder lift at all. So it really is not important how far over to the side the legs get. Lift your feet off the ground, hover them. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right, head to the left. Inhale, center. Legs to the left, head to the right. Inhale, center, and continue. Moving from side to side as slowly as you can. Controlled movement. When you come back to center, make it just as slow as when you came down. So you're never paused at the top or the bottom. You're always moving very, very slowly. Strengthening those oblique muscles that wrap around the sides of the torso. Going right and left, one more time moving. 
And when you come back up from that left side, you can come over into the right side twist and relax your feet down to the ground. Relaxing the arms. If they're straight out, palms can turn up if you'd like. Try to just keep that left shoulder resting heavy down on the floor. Close your eyes and just breathe. In through the nose and out through the nose. Try to relax that low back as much as you can. the arms are in cactus, you're going to press through the elbows. If the arms are straight, press the palms down. Flex your feet and inhale. Head and knees come back to center. Let your legs now travel to the left. Let your head turn slowly to the right. Before your right shoulder lifts, set your feet down gently. Try to keep your head turned as far to the right as you can. If the arms are straight, you can turn the palms up if you'd like. Close your eyes. Relaxing very slowly into the posture. Try not to let your whole upper body turn to the left. Your chest is facing up towards the ceiling still. Relaxing along the length of your entire spine. Softening and melting the body into this twist. Couple more breaths here on this side. If the arms are in cactus, press into the elbows. If the arms are straight, press your palms back down to the ground as you flex your feet. Inhale, come back through center, knees to the chest. Bring your arms like railings right down alongside you and send the soles of your feet straight up to the ceiling above you, option one. Option two, arms and legs can be up. You can do a full shoulder stand. So what is your body feeling up to at this point in your practice? Where are you at this morning? Maybe you're using your block or blanket to support the low back hip area, getting the hips a little higher than the shoulders, allowing for a bit more drainage. If you're coming up into full shoulder stand, try to work those elbows in as much as possible, bringing your pinky fingers to either side of your spine. Relaxing the toes, the feet, and the ankles. Relax the legs a little bit. Relax the buttocks, the back, the torso. Exerting just enough effort to keep yourself up in the pose not letting any one part of your body work more than the other. And then long, slow, deep breath here. If you're in shoulder stand and would like to do variations, make sure if you're doing variations, you're holding them equally on both sides. If it's something that's one side, then the other. Lots of different options. Scissoring the legs, wide-legged. 
will eventually move into plow. So you're doing variations of shoulder stand. Baddha Konasana, legs in tree, legs in eagle, so many different options. Once you've done everything equally, take yourself down into plow pose, halasana. Trying to keep the legs as close to the face as you can, as straight as you can. Different variations you can work on in plow, legs wide, arms over the head, palms pressed together, arms can come up through the legs. Lots of different options. If you're working on legs up and arms up, let your arms come down. If you have a block or a bolster underneath the low back, remove that now, placing the feet on the floor. And then let your legs come back up to the ceiling. We're all gonna meet in the same position. So those of you in plow, press your palms to the ground. Start to roll out onto your back, nice and slow from the upper back through the mid back, all the way down to the low back. Press into your palms, press your heels to the ceiling. Start to lower both your legs towards the ground, pushing your heels away. Good, once those heels touch down, inhale, lift the head, lift the shoulders, look at your belly and puff up your chest. Push your heart to the sky and then relax your head all the way back, lowering down until just the top of the head touches down to the ground. So we kept the arms out for a reason. I know some of you really like to take the arms underneath you, but I was gonna say, can you lift the arms up? Press your palms together and bring the arms up to 45 degrees. That's an option in your fish. If the arms can come up and fish, the legs might even be able to lift to 45 as well. Only if the arms are up. Otherwise, keep pressing into those forearms. Let's take one more deep breath in. If you've lifted the limbs, they can come down, lifting the head, lowering your back down. If you brought the arms underneath you, remove them. Walk the feet towards you. Let your knees come into your chest and just rock from side to side. As you roll back to center, draw your forehead up towards your knees. Start to squeeze yourself into a tight, tiny little ball. Wrap the arms, if you can, more tightly around the legs. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Hold the breath. Start to scrunch up your face. Start to squeeze the scalp. Squeeze, 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 and release yourself down. As you lower your head down, maybe you're reaching for your socks, maybe your long sleeve shirt, whatever you need to be comfortable. Arms and legs coming out equidistant from that torso. Turn your palms up to face the ceiling. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Tuck your chin, try to find length at the back of your neck as well. And then just rest the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth behind those top front teeth. Letting the rest of the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth and sink heavily towards your throat. Start to relax the controlled breath as you start to relax your entire body. Getting heavier and heavier with every exhale. Almost as though you were sinking into the floor.
And when the mind begins to wander off, back into the past, forward into the future, redirect your focus, your attention, back to this moment in time, to the here and now. You're aware of your body, but you're not controlling the body, you're not moving, you're just totally relaxed. You're aware of your thoughts, but you're not judging them, you're not following them, creating a story in your mind. You're aware of sounds and the people around you, but not connected to any one thing in particular. Relax completely, let go, take rest.
Bring that long, deep breath back. Waking up the heart, the lungs, starting to wake up the body, wiggling fingers and toes. Hands and feet can move, wrists and ankles, turning the head side to side. But as you roll your head back to center, let your legs come together. Point your toes and reach the arms over your head. Take a long, deep breath in. Make the body as long as it possibly can be. And then relax the arms down. Draw your knees into your chest. Hugging them in, rocking from side to side. Roll over to your right side, pausing, breathing, noticing how you feel. And thanking yourself for this gift of this practice here at the start of your day and the start of your week. Pressing into your left palm, pressing down through your right arm as well. Start to make your way slowly up to seated with your eyes still closed. Bring your palms together now, your hands at your heart. Bow your chin toward your chest. Being grateful for this practice. Grateful for those who came to join you in the space today. Grateful that we have this space to practice in this community that we've created here. The divine light within me graciously, humbly bows to that same divine light within you. Namaste. Sunday.